Hi, in this video series on fibromyalgia, I'm going to be covering the non-drug strategies for fibromyalgia. This is very important to consider given that I've covered in a previous video how we do not have specific drugs for the condition. As I mentioned before, the predominant kind of pain in fibromyalgia patients is one where the nervous system is sensitized, what's called nociplastic pain or central sensitization. Now in my book, The Pain-Free Mindset, I talk about this approach, a holistic approach for treating any kind of chronic pain. And I think fibromyalgia is one of those conditions, those forms of chronic widespread pain, which really lends itself to a holistic way of approaching it. In a previous video, I talked about the suitable drugs that could be trialed for a short period of time if you think that there is an element of nociceptive pain where chemicals are being released or neuropathic pain where the nerves are irritated or damaged. But when you've got just sensitization of the nerves, we realize that medications or even interventions like surgeries or injections don't really work that well we need to think of bringing a different framework to dampening the immune and nervous system. Now in my book, I talk about this framework of the mindset. And what that means is it's not just about the way you think about it, but it actually it is an acronym. And it stands for the M being medications, the I being interventions. But then I also talk about the N being the neuroscience, the D being about diet and nutrition, the S being about sleep, the E relating to physical exercise and activity, and lastly T referring to the therapies of mind and body. And if you can see with fibromyalgia, once you've kind of ruled out that the M and the I aren't going to work, it is important therefore to think about the neuroscience and stress management strategies that will calm the immune and nervous system. Because we know that when stress is present and when it is traumatic stress that is excessive or persistent, that can inflame and activate the immune system. And that's one reason for a flare up of the pain. So stress management strategies are important. D, diet and nutrition. In conditions like fibromyalgia, they say that irritable bowel is present in about 70% of these patients, which means that paying attention to the kind of food that we eat, having an anti-inflammatory diet, predominantly a whole food plant-based diet, can be very useful in calming the immune system in the gut, and that can have a positive impact on the overall pain and fatigue that you feel in fibromyalgia. Sleep, there are studies to say that sleep can often be affected a few years before the actual diagnosis of fibromyalgia is made. So if we can optimize sleep, if we can focus on the elements of sleep hygiene and actually use a variety of techniques to improve our sleep duration and quality, then that can have a beneficial impact on the pain that we experience. Physical activity, and movement can actually build new nerve circuits and enhance the neuroplasticity, the ability of the nervous system to change, modify and be dampened. So physical activity is hugely important in reducing the pain in fibromyalgia. And lastly, therapies of mind and body. Now, I don't want to say mind and body because that automatically feels like I'm separating them both. But fibromyalgia is one of those conditions when the nervous and immune system is hyperactivated, then using a complementary integrative approach like yoga, like Tai Chi, like Pilates, like breathing and relaxation techniques, or even psychological approaches like CBT or even ACT, which is acceptance and commitment therapy, can all have a positive impact on calming the immune and nervous systems down. There are also newer techniques. I have mentioned before that sometimes trauma or traumatic stress can impact on the immune and nervous system. So newer techniques like emotional awareness and sort of expression therapy, 
and other techniques around somatic experiencing can actually have a positive impact on symptoms as well. So therapies of mind and body become another excellent strategy. So all of these can be combined into a framework and creating one that's personalized for you can make a difference in a fibromyalgia management. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the content useful and of value to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more videos to be notified.